Namaste and welcome to day 17 of the Ready Steady Shimmy Challenge. Today we're going to have a foundation movement over which we're going to adapt and incorporate the shimmy technique. Now you will see this kind of a technique usually in a Belladi improvisation or a Belladi choreography and dancers use it in various different ways depending on how creative they can get with it and that really is the focus of this week. So I'm going to lift up my skirt a little bit for you to be able to see what's happening because the movement doesn't just involve the hips, it also involves a particular way in which we're going to be moving our leg, our knee, our foot. So the movement either incorporates a reverse Maya, so like an inward vertical eight or a back to forward horizontal eight. Okay, now how you're going to do this is you pull the movement in and then the knee starts coming closer to the other leg and you release the foot to a gentle turn out. You bring it back in, pull the movement, release. In, pull, 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 release. Now there's also a reaction in my upper body. It's not like I'm just stationary in the upper body and just doing this in the lower body, no. There's a reaction in the upper body it's responding to that motion and one and two, one and two. Now at a later point, it's you are going to be able to do camels and other movements along with this footwork technique too. But for now, I'd really like you to focus on either the reverse Maya or the back to forward horizontal eight, okay? And two, back 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 and two. Now, you have to be gentle with the leg. Remember not to do very long or strong kicks. It's very gentle. It's just like a release. So it's like the energy tr moves from the hip to the knee to the foot and that's how the release happens. Now, we're going to incorporate our shimmies to this. So what we're going to do is as we start the movement, there's no shimmy. And then we release it with a shimmy. So up, shimmy, release. 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 Up, shimmy release. Up, shimmy release. Up, shimmy release. Up, shimmy release. So the focus is on that shimmy and the release. It's not a very long shimmy because you're doing it only for a certain section of the movement, but it still has to be impactful. It still has to be felt. It still needs to speak. Now, remember arms, usage, space. You can get really creative with this one. And now I'm going to stop giving you any cues about how you can use it because I would really by now like to see how you're able to bring creativity to this. And aesthetic, most importantly. So really focus on the way that you're gonna be using the arms as you get into this beautiful, you know, undulatory movement with the leg and the shimmy together. Yeah? Okay, so let's try this with music. Okay. And. I'm pulling, shimmy, slow, shimmy, 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 shimmy. What are the many ways that you can use this? Remember also eights vertically or horizontally or even the combination of the two. 
So an, an inwards but also a forward movement, that could work too. So vertical combined with horizontal also works really well. All right. So this one's a beautiful movement, especially for something like Bellevue, like I just said. We worked on a bunch of different things for Oriental. We've also talked about a few fusion combos, things that are more apt for fusion. But all of these can be adapted to whatever style you may be practicing. All of these can be adapted, depending on the change of stylization, depending on the type of shimmy you use. Either you stick with the oblique shimmies, the drop shimmies, or the Egyptian shimmies, or the vibration shimmies, which we haven't done yet, or the choo choo shimmies. So depending on what kind of shimmy you keep as the base, you can adapt it for the style of belly dance that you are practicing. Super, enjoy this one and I'm gonna see you tomorrow.